Okay, Home Alone 2 lost in New York. Home Alone 2 lost in New York. New York finds Kevin McAllister in in this in a situation where he gets lost because his family is trying to go to Florida this time, and once again, almost the same scenario takes place. And he because he loses track of his father at the airport, he ends up taking the wrong flight to uh, that goes to New York City, and he uh, ends up conning his way into a hotel in order to not actually end up on the street. And he finds out this not the not the white bandits, we're the sticky bandits. The Stinky Bandits are back, are, are actually escaped from the from jail, and Kevin McAllister has to stop him from stealing Duncan's toys chest. Uh, yes, keep in mind, uh, you guys remember this movie, you don't actually see any toys at the shop. I don't know, I just wanted to make make that a little bit abundantly clear. Okay, everybody that, everybody comes back from the last movie, only there, there's only a couple performances on here that are very memorable and some of them are a little bit weird okay and Curry uh, is on board this week it does probably one of the most funniest scenes on this movie Tim Curry is probably what is uh there's a part where you see him smiling and it and they show the Grinch it's probably one of the most Probably one of my most uh, memorable parts of this movie, including probably the part where he goes to the, he goes, he follows, he's kind of making uh, Kevin McAllister stay in the hotel uh, miserable when he's trying to find out if he has any parents because there's a several scenes on here that are very iconic for me, including this scene. Look, cool jerk, cool jerk. Get out of here, you nosy perfect pair. Slap your face, silly. Including this. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. And a Happy New Year. I can smell you getting off the elevator. Get on your knees and tell me you love me. Uh, probably one of the most laugh out loud moments. This movie is... By far, it's not it's not a better film than the original Home Alone because Home Alone will always be probably one of the, uh, my favorite holiday movies of all time. But Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, it, it is just an absurd movie. But at the same time, you're having a great time because you get to see Kevin McAllister once again almost rip apart the, the, the sticky bandit inside this abandoned building and... Uh, it's inside of Manhattan. It just doesn't make any sense. This is the kind of stuff these guys probably have nine lives, but of course, this kind of stuff would not happen in real life, and you would walk away from these type of things. These type of these the, the type of scenarios and traps that he sets for a little bit more extreme, a little bit more where you you just question logic if this stuff would really happen in real life. Of course, you know that already. This movie knows what it is. It is it is there to give you a great time. It is probably one of the absolute best holiday movies that I've ever seen in my entire life. And Home Alone 2 gets, uh, Stop the Press, who is that? That movie was good, Brady, because it is a good movie by all means. It is definitely probably one of my absolute favorites of all time. And definitely, I just want to uh, send a, uh, just like a little uh, a eulogy or dedication to the great John Hurd, because he's pro this guy, I saw this guy. One of those actors that I saw growing up and who died recently, and I just want to uh, just send a, a, a shout out or just to it, uh, rest in peace for him because uh, everybody everybody else in this movie was good, and you know, and also of course you get to see at the very end that that uh, Kevin McAllister is uh, spending his dad's credit cards inside this mm -hmm. hotel, so uh, he's not very happy at the very end of this movie, and. It it kind of it kind of he lives he lives out a fantasy that a lot of us are. What would you do at that age? Probably you wouldn't get lost like this. But you, if you had a chance to spend your your mom or your dad's credit cards inside of a really uh, a, a nice nice looking hotel like this, you probably would. Yeah, you probably do the same thing. Okay. Thank you for watching my videos once again. Put a like below. 
give me a like, guys, because I really appreciate you guys, and you guys are awesome. You guys rock. You guys rule. And help me reach that 2,000 subscribers that I, I need to make a better a, a better YouTube channel. So I can get your get help me get my name out there because I work hard for this stuff and there is some a lot of preparation that goes into this stuff that I do. And um, hit that notification bell because I I have a feeling I am gonna do a um, my most anticipated movies of 2019. So you guys be watching out for that, and um, Happy New Year to you guys, and I hope you guys are, have a great New Year, and you guys have whatever it is that you're looking for, and I messed up, but, and once again, just uh, on the comments below, let me know, what is your New Year's resolution, what do you uh, want to do, not want to do, for, or you want to quit, or something like that for New Year's, on the comments below, let me know, okay, you guys, once again, thank you so much.